the reading of the New Testament as rendered from the Gullah culture, translation of the uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible. This is this is the Gullah Bible. And as usual, we find a spot. I've been up front for a while. Yes, let's stay up front. Boom. Now we just pick a page, any page. Uh, because this exercise, exercise this, these readings, um, they have a purpose. Um, this is my, in my maternal side. I have a color Geechee. And um, I was thinking that, now, when the newly freed uh, enslaved folks when they first came on, you know, right after the Civil War, the Hansi Bellapi record, whatever, they were learning uh, to read. And the only book they had really readily available was the Holy Bible. And so I was putting my head in the space of, of somebody like that. And I came up with it. It's like, well, how, how would they do that? So how would it be that you would, to learn a new language or to, to be, become literate in a new language? So I'm figuring that, hey, if I go through this experience of trying to uh, learn how to read Gullah, or try to speak Gullah, then perhaps, you see, that's how it goes. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. Oh, and oh, put, my, put my reading glasses on. Oh, shout out to the uh, VA, Veterans Administration of the United States of North America. Got it from them. Uh, so let's go to uh, Matthew 10, page 34, and let's go to any questions. Oh, <sighs> well, let's do it. Well, let's go to 20, all right? I'll make it short here. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Here we go. They would, ye say, then, they ain't going to be your own word, because the Holy Spirit, but ye, Father God, send ye going to pick. The word them in ye mouth, in your mouth. And the uh, translation, you can see you have the Zola here. And then the, the old English kind of, you know, Shakespeare, Marlowe kind of language right there. That's why I have to wear the glasses here. It's small. Uh, said 20, right? For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father, which speaketh in you. We do this twice. The word you say, then, they ain't going to be your own word, because the Holy Spirit, where ye Father God sin, ye going to pick the word them in your mouth. Once again, the translation. This would be uh, Matthew 10, 20. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father, which speaketh in you. Sometimes I like that whole thing. It's like speak, they speaketh and saith. I like that kind of stuff. And anyway, so, so that's it. And uh, I, I was speaking to to a young man last night. I like to say that because a lot of people are younger than me now because I'm an old guy, right? And um, and I was, in, 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 we was talking a long time, you know, a long time. It must be about a couple of hours. And uh, no, he. I, he didn't say anything, but in the, near the end, because we talked about the things, he said he was a Christian, right? And, you know, and I said, well, yeah, didn't you hear me? I, I, I read the Gullah, the, I read the Bible every day, da, da, da. He said, then he tried to do this Christian, that they do this stuff all the time. He said, uh, well, did you understand? Did you, uh, how you get, did you understand? Did you understand? And I said, well, when you read aloud, then your understanding is different than if you're just reading in your own head. And then... He said something, but anyway, the, the, the point of the whole thing is that when you just read something in your head, you're, it's, like a med it's like you're meditating. Like, I said like, not meditating. And in, 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 a, in my extreme sense, I would say that when you do that, it's like um, when you hear a voice in your head, when, you, when, when, you're, when, when, when I walk around, whatever, and I do this a lot, I'm, I'm constantly talking in my head. But who am I talking to? Talking to myself, well, maybe, 
maybe me and God all the time having conversation. Okay, I'm just saying. In my in my sense, because it's my 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 lofi camp, I'm not my uh, my goon camp. So I'm speaking to a goon all the time in my head. Okay, but when you talk aloud, then you 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 talk, but you also and you, you're vibrating more. You're vibrating. The vibration comes there, and as you notice, when I first when I read it the first time, I'm well awkward as usual. Like everybody, nobody wants to make a mistake. That's why nobody want to read aloud. Um, but then, because I did it, then I do the translation. So when I read the second time, I'm a little bit better, you see? But also, that gives me more understanding, because I'm reading out loud, I'm getting more understanding. And like anything, when, when, when I'm, I'm a trained in radio, so what happens, we have a, um, we have this thing called air shake. That's when you, when you broadcast, like say if I say I my program normal radio is three hours long. So I would do normal radio, right? but then I would immediately um, have listened to the air shake back. The, and most of the time people don't want to do that because it'd be some sort of, a, uh, you know, cringy. They say, oh, I made this mistake. I made they're conscious of that. But that's not how you do it. What happens, oh, by the way, I'm in Cape Town and I'm in a, uh, a single, a single room. It's like a dormitory. I'm in the single room, right? And, you know, a common bathroom down there. And this floor is old. It's an old building to so the floors. Are doing, usually I do this a lot earlier, but, Anyway, back to the point. So when you when you're vibrating, when you vibrate, and then when you put in like I say in the radio, when you air check it right afterwards, what you're actually doing, you're not listening for you actually well, say you're not listening, but you are not looking for mistakes. You just just listen, just da -da 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 -da. and even if you find mistakes, you just keep you're you're not making criticism of yourself. Because what happens, your own you're giving yourself a chance to correct the mistakes on another level. Instead of making conscious correction, oh, da, 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 you automatically adjust it. So if you if you air check all the time, if you if you're recording something and you and you and you could put back all the time something or saying something consistent like 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 the reading of the, the Gullah Bible, then what happens is automatically your body or your innards or your God makes the adjustments for you. So after a while, you won't make those same mistakes. Because there are no mistakes. Any, any, only, only way you take things is small statements. But you won't, not that you won't make no mistakes. Those those mistakes. Yeah, you won't make those mistakes. You'll make other mistakes. But as you keep on, keep on, keep on going, then you will be better. That's what I think. I am being me, T. When the pattern is taking trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>